reasons I'm videoing this in my backyard at night with my flashlight because I want to tell you about a true story that happened to me, which will lead into our lesson. I went on a mission trip to Belize. It's been several years now, but me and a team went there one summer to lead a day camp for kids while they were on their summer vacation. Now Belize is in Central America and we were gonna stay at a private school that's just outside the city of Belmopan. Now this private school, they just had portable buildings for their classrooms. And so this school had put some bunk beds in two of the portable buildings that the women could stay in one and the men could stay in the other. And one of the first things that the men had to do when we got down there was build some showers. And so with blue tarps, they built some walls for a shower and they put a water jug for the water for our showers. And that water was chilly, but we were excited to have showers. Now, one of the first things that I learned when I went to Belize was that they have some critters that I'm not quite accustomed to. Have you ever seen a tarantula? They are huge spiders. A tarantula can get up to four to five inches wide, including their legs. So one tarantula would cover the palm of your hand. Now, one night a friend and I went to find some supplies that we were gonna need for day camp the next day. Well, since there's no city lights and the only lights at the school were in the classrooms, we had our flashlights and we were watching where we were walking and you, it was so dark, you can't even see your hand in front of you. I have never been where it's been that dark outside at night, but it was at this school in Belize outside of Belmopan. So he was help going with me to find some supplies for day camp the next day. And I had my flashlight scouring the ground for any critter that might jump out in front of me. And I was, I was ready. And all of a sudden he yelled my name and it startled me. And I said, what, where? And I started with my flashlight looking to see what was coming out in front of me. And he started laughing and he said, not down there, look up. And when I looked up, it was like there was a gazillion stars in that sky. It was so dark that you could see so many stars. I had never seen that many stars at night. And it reminded me how big God is. And I felt so small with that huge canopy of stars just covering the sky. So I want you to read today Isaiah 40 verses 25 through 28. What do those verses say about God and the stars? And another verse I want you to read just for perspective is Luke 12 verse 7. That verse says something about God and our hair. So what did those verses tell us about God? You know, these are crazy days. We're at home a lot. We don't get to see the people that we normally get to see. Don't get to hang out with our friends and do our normal activities. But our God is big and He is in control and He is doing some good things even during these days that seem so crazy. So today, pray for those who are sick. Pray for many people to come to know Jesus during these days. And in the comments, I want you to post two things that you are grateful to God for during these especially crazy days. And for everyone that posts comments, your name goes into my drawing for a winner to receive a special prize in the mail. So if it's a clear night tonight, go and check out the stars and see if you can even begin to count them. God is big. Happy Wednesday.